Maybe you've heard that the church is not a building. And while that is true, it is a place where the kingdom of God is fueled to grow. Early first century Christians met in homes and we see churches start in storefronts and school gyms. Yet here at Urbana UMC, we've been blessed with this physical, beautiful building at 238 North Main Street. Now there's a few things that have to happen for church to be church. We have to gather, we have to grow, we have to go. And for us, gathering looks like a weekly commitment to see salvation and worship happen in a communal event. And as we commit to growing with Christ, that's discipleship. And as we explore gathering and growing together, we feel called to our mission to go out. And so we gather and grow and go to be the church. Since 1837, this building has been physically located at 238 North Main Street. Now it's not the essence of who we are, but it is essential to our mission. In response to the importance of this facility, we are embarking on a three year, $500,000 capital campaign journey, grounded in the theme, immeasurably more for his glory. Now this is guided by Ephesians chapter 3, 20 and 21, where we are called to envision a future where God's power works within us, enabling us to achieve immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine all for his glory. Before we dive into the campaign, we need to be reminded that God wants our hearts to be in the right place with respect to giving. Investing in this campaign should come from a heart of gratitude and joy, not a place of obligation and guilt. We need to remember giving is an act of worship, not a financial transaction. Giving is a spiritual discipline that shapes us. Therefore, as we join together on this campaign, we expect and look to God to be working, molding us more into the image of His Son. On, a, on an individual level, this campaign is about our personal discipleship, but as a corporate communal level, this is about growing God's kingdom. Over several months, the leadership team at UUMC met and prayed about the facility and how God has and is using the building in ways God could use it in the future. Through that process, we identified projects needed to maintain and prepare this facility to be a visible and vibrant witness to Jesus Christ now and into the future. We group these needs into three areas, preservation, presence, and progress. Inspired by Hebrews 12, we want to honor the investment made by those who have gone before us in the faith. As good stewards, we must take care of the building and its structure. From basic maintenance to major repair of the exterior, we maintain our connection to the past. In preserving our physical sanctuary, we honor the legacy of faith that has brought us to this point. Just as we tend to the leaks in our roof and restore the beauty of our stained glass, we acknowledge the importance of preserving the foundations of our faith journey. As we mend our exterior, we recognize the need to heal our spirits, nurturing the traditions and teachings that have sustained us. In Matthew chapter 9, verses 19 to 21, we find Jesus prioritizing the safety and well-being of people in need. Following his example, we commit to creating a safe and welcoming place within our church walls where all can feel secure in their spiritual journey. Part of creating a safe presence is ensuring that we comply with fire code by removing carpet from walls and installing a fire alarm system on the sanctuary side of the church. In addition to making our building safer, we wanna make it more welcoming with hallway renovations and interior plaster work and paint. Guided by the Great Commission in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20, we are called to expand our church's capacity for fellowship and discipleship by creating multi-purpose spaces and furthering our use of technology, we aim to adapt to the evolving needs of our community to help us foster spiritual growth. Our church building provides 30,000 square feet for ministry, which sounds like a lot, but sometimes it feels limiting, like in our children's ministry. To continue to grow our church, we need to reimagine what our spaces look like and design them to be used for multiple purposes so that we can make better use of the space we have. For instance, renovating our basement to increase capacity for children's ministry and preschool and redefining spaces for adult discipleship. Now God is doing great things in us and through us. I'm amazed how God has gifted us with this building right here in the heart of the city. 
And we need to be wise on how to ensure that we continue to embody, along with all the other area churches, the presence of Christ in Urbana and Champaign County. Now, I want to encourage you to join my family and I as we will be all in on this capital campaign. All of us are in different places and spaces when it comes to our financial situation and how much we can commit. But if everyone chooses to grow in their ability to trust God with their finances, either in big ways or small ways, this campaign will be a success no matter how much we raise. Now, I know 500,000 beyond our normal giving over the next three years is a big number, but what God has done in Christ is immeasurably more. And now he invites us to be a part of that same story. I wanna end with this prayer from the Apostle Paul. I pray that Urbana United Methodist Church being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen.